In this case, we got infinities in both limits. So we will need to split the integral up into two separate integrals. We can split the integral up at any point. So let's choose zero since this will be convenient point for the evaluation process. So we will rewrite our improper integral to sum of two integrals from negative infinity to zero and we have in numerator arc tangent of x to second power over x squared plus 1 dx plus integral from 0 to positive infinity of arc tangent of x to second power over x squared plus 1 dx. First, we will solve integral of arctangent of x to second power over x squared plus 1. To solve this integral, we will do substitution method. Why? Because when we substitute arc tangent of x by u. Now we have to find derivative of both sides with respect to x. Derivative of arc tangent is 1 over x squared plus 1. And we have, this is equal, du to dx. Now we will multiply both sides by dx. So we have that du is equal dx over x squared plus 1. It is exactly what we have here. We have 1 over x squared plus 1. We can rewrite this dx. And of course we will substitute arctangent of x by u. So this is equal We have integral of, first, before I will do substitution, I will rewrite this integrand one more time. We can put that this is arc tangent of x to second power times dx over x squared plus 1. So now we see that we have integral of u to second power because arc tangent is u. And dx over x squared plus 1 is du. So this is equal. We have integral of power functions. So we will have u to power 2 plus 1 is 3 over 3. So this is equal. We have to come back to our substitution. u is arctangent. So first I will put 1 third times arctangent of x third power. So now we will come back to our sum of two improper integrals. We will solve the first integral first. So we let me copy this. We have integral from negative infinity to zero of arc tangent of x to second power over x squared plus 1 dx. We will convert our integral to limit. So we have this is equal limit. t goes to negative infinity. We replaced in negative infinity with variable t. And we have now definite integral from t to 0 of arctangent of x to second power over x squared plus 1 dx. So this is equal. We already solve 
indefinite integral of arctangent of x to second power over x squared plus 1. So now we will copy limit t goes to negative infinity. We copy our solution and we have one third arc tangent of x to third power. We have to now put integration limits. So we have upper limit 0 and lower limit t. So this is equal. Next, we have to copy limit as t approaches in negative infinity. And we have to plug first upper limit instead of x and we have to subtract the lower limit. So we have to plug next t instead of x. So we have to copy one third and in brackets I will put that we have arc tangent of 0 to third power minus arc tangent of t to third power. So this is equal. We have to copy limit. t goes to negative infinity. We have one third. Arc tangent of 0 is 0. To third power is still 0. So we have in brackets only negative arc tangent of t to third power. t goes to negative infinity. Let me write here the graph of tangent. If you don't remember arc tangent, we have t, y. We know that the graph of, of ta arc tangent is between asymptote, hor horizontal asymptote, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And this graph is like this. When we are going to positive infinity, the graph is going to value pi over 2, very close. And when we are going to negative infinity, because in this example we have limit as t approaches negative infinity, we see when we are going to negative infinity, our graph is very, very close to asymptote negative pi over 2. So this is equal 1 third and in brackets we have negative sign and in parentheses we will have negative pi over 2 to third power. So this is equal one third times negative pi over 2 to third power we will still have negative sign by negative and negative give us positive so we have only pi cube over 2 to third power is 8 so this is equal pi cube over 24 next we got finite number it means our integral is convergent. We can write. Next, we have to do the second part. So now we have integral from 0 to positive infinity and we have the same function. So let me copy our integral. We have from 0 to positive infinity of arc tangent of x to second power over x square plus 1 dx. So now first we have to convert the integral to a limit because we have upper limit infinity. So this is equal limit and we will replace the infinity with variable t. So t 
goes to positive infinity and we have integral definite integral from 0 to t now of arctangent of x over of course to second power x squared plus 1 dx we already solve integral of arctangent to second power over x squared plus 1 we have the solution so now we have to just replace this and we have to plug integration limits because we have definite integral here so this is equal we have limit to copy t goes to positive infinity and we have now one third arc tangent of x to third power and we have limits from 0 to t so this is equal limit we have to copy t goes to positive infinity one third we will rewrite and in brackets we have to first plug upper limit and we have to subtract the lower limit so we have arc tangent of t will be to third power minus arc tangent of zero to third power arc tangent of zero is zero we see on this graph and when t goes to positive infinity we see that our graph is going to value pi over two so we can write that this is equal one third and in brackets we will have one more time when arc tangent going to positive infinity because t goes to positive infinity the value of the value goes to pi over two we are very close pi over two so we can substitute arc tangent of t by pi over two and we have to put this to third power minus arc tangent on zero is zero so we don't have to write so this is equal one third times pi cube over eight so this is equal pi cube over 24 next when we have value of this we have value of this two integrals now we have to substitute this so this is equal we will put this at the end so this is equal from first integral we got that we have pi over pi to third power over 24 constant number cube over 24 and when we solve the second integral we got finite number two so it means the second integral is also convergent so now we have to just plug these values we have pi cube over 24 so this is equal to pi cube over 24 we can reduce by 2 so we have pi cube over 12 we got constant number finite number so it means that our original integral which we have at the beginning this integral from negative infinity to positive infinity is convergent this is my solution